George's Secrets. <laughs> There's the shortest book ever written. It was a hit cartoon series in the 60s, and now Disney Pictures is hoping it'll be a hit movie in the 90s. This summer, Brandon Fraser is swinging into theaters everywhere as George of the Jungle. For those who don't remember, the campy cartoon features a rather klutzy king of the apes. J. Ward Productions had 17 episodes produced between 67 and 71. They ran on ABC. And he was, of course, famous for his subversive humor and the voice talent that he cast were largely Borscht Belt comedians. Is that what you were looking for here, too, to kind of add underbelly to the character more than just the broad stuff? My job in that regard was to absorb or be inspired by the animated shorts and treat them like short films and then translate it to a live-action character and create the difference between a cartoon man and a real man to give him a heart and a soul and then at the same time be allowed to make uh, very broad choices. In this live-action comedy, George falls in love with San Francisco aristocrat Ursula Stanhope. The reason I like the movie is because it's innocent and it's smart and sweet and it has a really good romantic side to it. Parallel to the romance is a dastardly drama. George's best friend and roommate, Ape, gets kidnapped by poachers. There's five apes out there. Which one are we taking to Vegas? Checkmate. The one who's playing chess. Veteran comedy actor John Cleese gave Ape his wit. But he was brought to life by the skill of an actor in a carefully crafted ape suit and special animatronics designed by Jim Henson's Creature Shop. We create a mechanical head that's based entirely around the performer's head. It's very close to his face. He's surrounded by little motors and mechanisms that operate the face. We build a muscle suit that bulks him up. We make artificial arm extensions that make his arms longer. And then we create a hair suit that goes over that muscle suit. And then, of course, we have to make hands for him. We make feet for them. So there's a whole bunch of different pieces that go together to make up an ape costume. The Henson Company also created several other animatronic puppets to add to the film's dazzling special effects. Hollywood magic also came into play with George's famous treehouse and surrounding jungle. They were constructed in a 700-foot airplane hangar in Marina del Rey. The massive set was stocked with over 50 types of plants and various wildlife. It was built on wood and concrete and then filled with sand, the entire thing. I mean, it was like over a football field long and huge trees and sykes. We were in there for two months and literally felt like we were in a jungle. This larger-than-life adventure was also filmed on location in Hawaii and in San Francisco. However, the travel budget also included another location, the heart of Africa. Not continents away, but the one of the San Diego Wild Animal Park. It was the clever location for the film's premiere. For the event, Disney constructed a giant outdoor theater at the park. Guests, along with the stars of the film, traveled aboard a very special train from Los Angeles. After spending time with the animals and partying in the park, it was showtime. It, it's really good. It's just really good. I'm, I'm a little giddy over it. I'm sorry. Um, lots of fun for young and old alike. Go see it. A jungle adventure, a love story, and an amusing farce all set to a memorable theme song. It's George of the Jungle. Watch out! <laughs>